got this stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Hello everyone, today I'm doing an aerial look um, for my Disney Princess video compilation. And what I'm going to do is I'll start off with this baby cream because Ariel has quite a light complexion in contrast to Pocahontas. So I put a little bit on my finger and I dab it around my face. As you can see, I already have my wig cap on, um, ready for the red hair of Ariel. So I just rub that in. What I'll do next is I'll take this nude by nature and I use the light medium skin tone because I'm a bit pale. My eyebrows are very dark so what we're going to do is I'm going to cover them in concealer actually. Now, if you've already got light eyebrows that's fine you can skip this step. The way I do that I have this cover girl um, it's just the invisible concealer and it's like this get a red eyeshadow and start filling in your brows um, with the eyeshadow brush so I prefer to use a thin one this is also this is actually from gloss um, what I'll do is I have this BYS um, eyeshadow set. It's actually from Target. So I would probably say to get this one. It's it's a bit glittery, but in the end, when we cover it with more foundation, it'll be fine. So just start filling in the eyebrows. Just to give them a red tint, I think. And we'll fix that later. Because I just don't want them to appear too black. The eyes, which are my favourite part actually. So what we're going to do is start with the concealer again on the eyes. Put, dab a little bit on your finger and just put it on the eyelid. This is just to protect it so because we're going to be used glittery eyeshadows I don't want all the glitter to stick to my eyelid. That's basically why I just put this on top first. Now I have this um, eyeshadow set from Tarte. It has really good colours in it. What we're going to do is start with um, like a corally colour, so uh, like a base. So I'm going to start with this one. We're going to get the thicker eyeshadow brush and just, you know, dab that. Get a bit of that. Pick a corally colour, so I'd go with this one, sort of like an orangey. What we're going to do with this one is just put it um, above the eye, eye uh, eyelid crease. I don't know why I struggled so much saying that. But do make it um, thicker in the middle. For that round shape. I've been looking forward to doing Ariel for a while, so this is actually quite exciting for me. Um, it's one of my favorite princesses. To use your eyeliner, so I use a Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. What I'm going to do with that is on my top lid, top eyelid. I'm just going to go from the side, not so much near the tear ducts, because we want that doe-eyed sort of look. Now, and what we're going to do is get the smaller brush, the gloss one, and what I'm going to do is get 
a blue this nice glittery blue and I'm going to put it straight underneath my where I put my eyeliner on the bottom um, what I'm going to do is I use this cheek stain because Ariel has sort of blushy cheeks and that's from Tarte as well we're going to just put that on our cheeks so do like the fish face thing and put it like on the apples of your cheeks and then rub upwards and I'm going to start with the middle again to get that kind of gradient I suppose A bit glittery it's changed colors so do that in the middle and Ariel has thinner lips at the top so you don't need too much I'm just gonna outline the shape going to do foundation now and a normal blush um, that's just to make sure that my skin is flawless because Disney princesses have amazing skin I don't know how It's also BYS, it's a lipstick and it's the corally colour called Start Your Engines L53. I like to put it on my finger first and then put it gradually on my lips. And we'll clean up everything very soon because you don't want to look messy. Especially if this is for um, a party, a Halloween costume idea or a cosplay cleaning up the top of the brow it's fine if it's just a little bit tinted um, just for people with dark eyebrows and clean that up and you're basically done um, if you want to add more glitter and stuff like that that's fine I'm going I think I've got enough blush on but because it's a video, I'm going to add more. What I do is I use this brush, put that there, and that's a Rimmel, Rimmel London Pink Rose. Put that on there. The more the better, I suppose, um, when it comes to Ariel. She does have very pretty features. Okay. Um, once that's done, you can fill in the lipstick a bit more. It's a pretty glittery colour. This is, um, don't think it's a shimmer rock candy lip gloss. Just from any um, pharmacy or whatever. So just put that over the top to add a bit more definition and colour. I'm actually going to use a setting powder just to set this all in because I'll be wearing it for a while while I record a video. So use the foundation brush. Just dab a little bit of this Stila um, setting powder and that will make it a little bit more pale. Okay, so yeah, once your makeup's done, put on your wig. I'm going to style it. So I don't want to brush it too much because it might wreck the hair, but you do need bangs. You need those um, massive aerial side bangs. And like I said, um, your wig cap should not be shiny. Mine's a bit... there we go. Make sure that the wig is all the way to the front. Covering up the wig cap. As you can see, Ariel. So, what I'm going to do, um, side swept bangs. So, brush that over a little bit more.
there you go. You've got Ariel now, I suppose. She has beautiful long hair. It feels amazing to wear this, actually. And you might actually want to add a flower. So I need to find a flower to add. So what I've done, I've got the wig on, and um, what you can do also is, I don't have one, but if you have a starfish clip or something, you can place it there um, on the side, not with the bangs. I've swept the bangs backwards to give it that aerial, that famous aerial kind of hairstyle. Um, hers are a bit bigger, so what you can do is pull them out a little bit. Just depends how much oomph you want to put in it. But you've got it now, so... It works. Yay! Stand one day of outside and wander and free. Wish I could be a part of that world.